Or, hey guys, so I'm going to be kitting up this cute, I mean, absolutely adorable one. It is a, I, I have named it Rainbow Budgies. I'm pretty sure those are budgies, but I could be wrong. But that's the first name of type of bird that came to me when I saw them. Yep, like I said in my previous kidding, I picked this one because they're, if there's black in here, it is literally just a couple. But I don't think, I don't think it even has 310 in it. Um, but this kit, um, sequence numbers, symbols, no DMC codes. So, so good. I've already um, washi taped the edges of this one just because I feel awkward doing it on camera um, and I ended up having to I, I ran out so washi tape of the last row lasted just the one side so I had to go, go get another one for the other sides one tip that I want to show you is you know normal washi tape but if you have a canvas where you have a real thin margin of glue and you don't want to cover any of your key, you can get thinner ones. So, super thin one. I've used this once, um, but it, it's good to have it for those odd instances where you you want to keep the key uncovered and there is only a real thin margin of glue. So there we go. Alright, so let's get to the drills. Oh my god, they're so cute! Alright, so let's bring in another of my cases. And we are... seem to be... Whoop, yep. It, in the right direction so far. These are new, so I am always going to check to make sure that they're pointed in the right direction. So I have already done my labels. So as you can see, I have my sequence number in the upper left hand corner, and then the symbol is done in the center of the label. And then I have my little identification one already done up and ready to go. So let's do the first four. This is a round kit. So it'll be a nice relaxing such pretty colors in this kit. Big tray. And let's get started. Get my pot cleaned out. Just a second. All right. So pot is ready. Our trash bin is ready for this one. So number one. So on the packets it has the canvas code and then the sequence number and that's it. Oh. But I have I have ordered I got a I got got it a pretty good deal because I they were having um like a pre Black Friday sale on AliExpress and the uh, store that I ordered from I if I remember correctly it was Home Fun they had a listing for all DMC colors one one of their little packages of each color. So I ordered those. We'll see how long it takes to get to me. Um, but I have 
well, I have my um, color code sheet built in Excel and I'll print it off on cardstock and then I'm going to use my scrapbooking double sided adhesive so I have rolls of the sequang tape or as lots of people know it is the score tape so I will use that and create my own color code cut charts and then once I have those ready I can use those to match up these drills and all of the other non-DMC drill kits that I've done and incorporate them into main storage. Alright, so let's make sure I'm still going in sequence order. Here we go, number four. You know, they could print those numbers just a little just a little bigger, you think? But this kit, this project just makes me happy looking at it. All the bright, pretty colors and the super adorable little birds. So, next four. Little containers and just to reiterate these are Avery temporary labels so they're uh, removable so they come off these containers a lot easier and I don't have to worry about any residue I mean can I am familiar with the use of Goo Gone, so if I need to, I can. But. So far, so good. These drills in this kit and the last one don't seem to be have a. Uh, I already put labels on. Do we? Um, that strip was separate from the main strip, so that's why I only had that few. Okay, so let's do this the way I did it last time. So, okay, and Four. One, two, three, four. Three. Okay, so we're gonna again stack these pretty much in order. Keep this nice and organized. So number six. I'm just kind of st stuck in the narrow part of 
with the baggie. Okay. And number eight. Oh, look at that pink. Love it. Favorite color is pink. That's what drew me to this project. Just the sheer volume of pink in it. Okay, so the next four, let's see if I can... Yay! Sometimes that maneuver works. up. So I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned this kit has 24 colors in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it'll fit perfectly in one of these. Uh, you know, you know, I'll have some extra. So I don't know. I don't think I will need more than one container for any of these colors. But if I do, that'll be easy enough. Alright, so the next number nine. Another beautiful pink color and a very full packet. Let's see if they all fit. They should. And I again cut just a hair too small. There we go. Oh yeah, the fit dice. Perfect. Very awesome. Green. And then a couple of oranges. Bright, nice bright colors. Number 11 and number 12. Oops. Let's move this closer. I'm not reaching so far. And in you go. And it's more on camera. So far so good. I'm not seeing any rope drills in these. Got them all. That next grouping. So we got Charlie. Echo, Foxtrot, and Golf. So this kit went one through one through nine and then zero and then not all the alphabet but it went alph alphabetically. So A, B, C, D. Not There's no D, E, F, G, you know, that kind of thing. So Alright, the next group four, number 13. So we got two yellows, a peachy orange, and a really light aqua color in this grouping. Well, there's a couple of rope drills in this one. I spoke too soon. Pretty buttery yellow color. I don't know if I mentioned it, you know, but I love butter. I love butter. I love butter. 
my j husband jokes, you know, that as far as I'm concerned, butter is a, you know, a food group. If I'm baking with butter or I put butter in my malto meal and I make malto meal at least three times a week for myself. I put some chunks of butter in it. I will literally take a chunk of it and eat it straight for off the stick. <laughs> That's how much I love butter. When Jason makes popcorn, we use, he uses an air popper for it, but <laughs> but then he melts an entire stick of butter to put it. Well, he he pulls some out, I think, for him and his mother. Um, but then the rest. He drenches in butter for me. <laughs> All right, so oh, trying to do this a little out of order, apparently. Labels. So this one is Hotel Juliet Kilo and Lima. So number 17, pretty green, and three more shades of pink, oh my god that beautiful love 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 that color the brighter more neon pinks those are my favorite okay so actually i misspoke this sequence, number 19, actually has two, two packets of the color. So, let's see how many I can fit into this one container. And then I can always grab a second container to put the remainder in. All of that big one. Let's get the stragglers. All right, there we go. A little bit of trash. That one drill got sand sandwiched in the crimp. Okay, so this whole one is not going to fit. But we'll see. You know what? I just changed my mind. So I'm only going to use that one. And then I will grab another one to put the rest of it in. And then I just need a, an extra label to put the symbol on. So, number 19 is Kilo. And we have because that one was so full I decided just to throw it into another container to keep up in the corner alright so now I'm a little off as far as <laughs> my four groupings so let's grab number 20 that one's awfully full. Let's see if I can get a good enough angle to get a decent sized hole. And that's 
getting very close. All right, so stragglers, and I had one jump. All right, so that's pretty good, pretty full. All right, so the next grouping. And on go stickers for Mike. November, Papa, and Sierra. And then I'll just take this little guy, throw him on the one that sits up in the corner here. Alright, so number 21 is a yellow. And oh, this guy has got quite a few rogue drills in it, but we deal with that as we work on the project. So as I put drills into the tray to use on the project, if any rogue drills appear, that's when they get removed and then I put them I put them in this little container. Now in the mandalas, I'll show you when I dekit it one of these upper containers has the rogue drills in it and then another one has the trash from the three you know the black drills Whew. all right so up it goes and number 22 is here more colors. Yep, another drill got sandwiched in the crypt. Alright, so one jumper. And then up it goes. So number 23 is a darker shade of yellow. Kind of a, not quite mustard, but close. Just darker yellow. Quite a few. I mean, that's a cool thing. There's so many bright, different colors in this project. Road, road drills are going to be easy enough to pick out. Alright, so that's done. And the last one is pretty much white. Get it in there. Okay, stragglers. One more. There we go. Alright. So all of those gorgeous colors are prepped and ready. All right, so I used up, yep, used up that whole label sheet. Let's stick my labels back in to the container. Get you down there, and then that's. Get you prepped with your silicone parchment sheets. Okay, so I'm looking at this and across about an inch and some change uh, overlap on those, and then along the bottom here. Can do about the same, about an inch, because I could not get away with three, so I have to do four. So that'll work. All right. So and as I like to do, 
um, since I work from the bottom corner up, I start putting my sheets on the opposite corner. And that just works better for me. As I'm working on it. So, but what I like to do is I, I start my I kind of line it up with the washi tape. It just gives me a rough. And then that works good. Yep, and as always, um, what I'll do is I will link all of the items, or um, the containers, the sheets, and the project in the description. I'm, I'm trying to make it a habit of always linking the things that I use in Now the washi tape, because you can get, you know, washi tape in so many varieties in so many places, I, I'm not going to bother um, linking that. Okay. Alright. So there it is. All prepped and ready for me to take to work next week get started on it during my slow times at work. So let's get this stuck back in your bag and bring the drills back up. So, Alright guys, again thank you for joining me for this kidding up and we'll catch you in the next one. Happy crafting!